Hey gang, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, fan control boards. This is a fan control board out of a, out of a gas furnace. At, I don't recall if I took it out of a Goodman or, or a uh, American Standard train. I'm not sure where it came out of. But it's a fairly standard defrost control board. And I've tried to populate it with wiring as similar to what you would see in a furnace. The coloring is not the same. I have uh, some brown and reds over here that's normally the, the, the red would be black and the, the color is not important on the wires. You're going to see all kinds of strange things when you're uh, working on the system. Today I want to troubleshoot uh, uh, the fan issue. I went on a call for a customer and I wanted to do this live but I forgot the camera that day. Um, I went on the call and the customer's complaint was the blower was not coming on but the outside unit was coming on. So I went up in the attic and uh, turned th everything off the thermostat. But you can turn the fan from auto to on thermostat and do it. It's just as well. But I turned everything off the thermostat and uh, I went down here and I, I jumpered my uh, R to my G on the board to see if the fan would spin up. And of course, when you jumper it directly on the board on a lot of them, the condenser will fire up. You can hear the freon hissing. But the fan did not spin up, so I took the jumpers back off. Um, let me back up. Most of these furnaces will have a door safety switch on them. You'll take the, the grill off of the uh, the burner assembly side, then you'll slide the door panel out of the way on the blower assembly, and usually the control board is accessible in the, the blower assembly area. And it will typically it'll typically have a door switch which will be attached to the, the main power coming in, and the power from the door switch goes to the board. In this case, it uh, it's this black wire here. This would jump her up to a door switch. There'd be like a two-prong switch on the door, and power would go to one of the prongs, and this would go to the other. So when the door opens, um, the power should be cut off, but don't trust that. Sometimes the switches are faulty. If you press the, with the door open, you press the safety switch in, and you still see the LED port light up, and not all these have LEDs, but it's a little sampling. You know the door switch is functioning properly. Uh, always, of course, cut off the power to the furnace. There's usually a safety shutoff switch, but double check that. Make sure the power is cut off because I've seen those bypass as well. My point here is the um, the blower did uh, did not fire up. I put an amp meter on uh, on my common wire. Let, let me pull some of this off. This is what a fairly populated board looks like. I'm going to pull some of the, the stuff out of the way here that. Uh, that would normally go for safety stuff and running the furnace and other power uh, items. But let's just get some of the stuff out of the way here so it's a little easier to see what's going on. Um, in this particular case, I, I put my amp probe around here and got, didn't have any, any power coming in. So I thought, well, let's find out. Let's, let's take the board out of the loop here for a minute and find out if the blower works at all. So what I did was I took the, uh, the, the motor for the blower and I wired it direct. The easiest way to do this is uh, this particular board, this particular board here has, it's a two-speed board. You have the cool, which is the red wire here for AC, and you have the brown wire, which is not normally brown. It's usually black and red or black and blue, but you can't trust the colors. But anyway, the brown one here would be heat. I always, when I do it, something like this, I always pull the heat off and get it out of the way and because uh, you don't want to take a chance of one of the relays being stuck closed and you're trying to check it in heat mode and, and short something out. And I pulled the, um, I pulled the, the wire for the, the high speed, the cool, on the blower off and I will follow the wire coming from the board that goes up to the door switch and I'll pull this off the door switch with the, with the power to the furnace shut off at the wall switch or the breaker, and then you can plug this onto the door switch. And once this is installed on the door switch, you can cut the power back on the furnace. And when you push the door switch button in, if the motor fires up, then you know the motor's good. Now some of these connectors will not have plastic tips. If when you pull the pull the heat off, or you have any loose connectors laying, either tape them off or securely strap them so they're not going to touch anything, short anything out. But uh, so I, I did it with this one, and the, the motor fired up just fine. So what I did was, uh, let me put some of this back on here. What I did was to get these customers 
some cooling while I was getting a replacement board. This is going to take me a couple days to pick one up and get back out. What I did was to uh, shut everything off. Then I pulled the power coming from the door switch off here, like so. And I went out to the truck and I bought one of these little, got one of these little, it's just a little two-tabber. And it shows right on the terminal here, like so. And, uh, and I moved, moved my AC plug over to here. I shoved it on one terminal. And I put my door switch going from the door switch that was on the board here originally back on here like so. And I pulled my heat off completely and I zip strapped it off to the side. And the reason you do this is because when I close the door and the switch is closed for the door switch and I turn the furnace power back on, whether or not I have it set to cool, no matter what I have the thermostat set to, this blower is going to run 24 hours a day until I come back on high speed. Uh, the outdoor unit will cut on and off depending on the temperature that you set at the thermostat because the thermostat wires just coming in and they go into the outside unit and don't have a whole bunch to do with the board for AC mode. Um, but you want to pull the heat off because for some reason the customer gets up in the morning and they, oh, it's a little cool. It's 60 degrees outside today. I'll turn the heat on for about an hour and take the chill off the house. Um, if they do that, they attempted to do that and you're trying to engage two motor speeds at the same time, that's bad news. So just tell them not to use the heat at all and, uh, and do this here. Now this is not something you'd want to do for heat mode. Um, you cannot trust, the board is, on a gas furnace, the board is everything for heat. So you do not want to uh, try and, and just bypass one of the relays on here for heat mode. It's just not a safe thing to do. But anyway, this is a good easy way and the motor will run 24 hours till you get back. Just remember where you pulled wires from and where they go back to. But uh, pretty straightforward. Just remember to take the, the cool. You can put it directly on the door switch. And um, almost all of them have door switches. And remove the heat completely. And usually there's a couple other wires, like uh, you'll have a yellow and a red or a yellow and a blue. And they'll be on, here I have two labeled park. And park just means they go to nothing. There's, you flip the board over and you look here, these two terminals here, they're just, they're just little solder connectors. It's just a placeholder. So the other two motors or one or two speeds on the motor don't, don't mean anything. Anyway, hope this helps. If, um, if that's overly confusing, <laughs> uh, then shoot me an email or something and I'll answer any questions I can. Thanks. Hey, in the previous video, which you just watched, I accidentally called the control board a defrost control board. It's not a defrost control board. That's on the outdoor unit. On a heat pump, this is a fan control board. Anyway, I just thought to clarify that. It's it's uh, slip of the tongue. I was thinking about defrost control boards. Thanks.